and I am so excited to reveal that my location is a 10 out of 10. Ah, yay! I am quite buzzing to, to be honest. Hello guys and welcome back. If you're new around here, my name is Becca and I'm literally about to move to Walt Disney World in Florida in about two weeks for an entire year from Manchester, the UK to work for Disney as a cast member as part of Disney's academic exchange program. Now, I know a lot of you probably don't know about this program, most people know about the college program or the uh, CRP, so if you want to know about more, I have already made a video about this and it tells you about the application process, who's eligible, what it's about, etc. So I'll link it up here and in the description, so definitely go and check that out. But today's video is going to be short and sweet, but it's also going to be very, very exciting because I'm going to be telling you my role, my location, and my housing all of which is a 10 out of 10 so let's get into it with the academic exchange program you do a six month split so you do six months in one role and six months in another role um, and you only find out your first role at first if that makes sense so my first role for those of you who don't already know is merchandise which i am so happy about i've worked for build a bear i've worked for man city i love working merchandise type roles entertainment style style roles and i think that's what swung it been working for build a bear because it's very like acting very disney-fied very much entertainment so i am so so happy and that is the role i'm going to do first which i think is better because my other role is also incredible and it's attractions. So I literally got my two dream roles, so I was so, so happy. And if you watch my um, TikToks and stuff, you'll see my reaction to finding out my roles and I cried and I was so happy. I will be doing attractions after Christmas, basically, from like January onwards. But I don't know my location or anything like that. I don't know if I'm on parking or on a ride, I have no idea. Hopefully I'm on a ride and hopefully I'm on Tower of Terror at Hyde Mansion because they're more like acting, rise resistance as well. I want, I, I want to be someone with a really strong theme, basically, and a good costume. Anywho, so, first six months of merchandise, and I am so excited to reveal that my location is Hollywood Studios! Ah! I'm gonna be right on Hollywood Boulevard, so as soon as you walk in the parks, I don't know which uh, which one I'll be in, if I'll be in Celebrity Five and Dime or if I'll be in Mickey's of Hollywood, I don't know which one. Hollywood Studios, in merchandise, in my little strawberry costume that everyone calls it. And yeah, I am so excited and I just cannot wait. Anyone who knows me knows that Hollywood Studios is my favourite park. I know it's not everyone's favourite park, um, but I do believe in the power of manifestation as well. So I'm going to quickly show you my lock screen. Now this has been my lock screen for months. So I'm going to try and show it you now. If not, if it, this doesn't work, I will take a screenshot, but I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see that right. Perfect. So you can see Hollywood Studios here. And then next to it, it says manifesting. Please do subscribe if you want to see all my videos because I'll be doing a lot more about merchandise role and my location once I get into it. But yeah, I'm so, so, so excited. If you are about to start a Disney program or you are currently on one, comment down below. Um, what your location is and what role you're in so we can hopefully be friends. Now let's move on to housing. Now the way Disney housing works is very different than how it used to work. So now all program participants live in a incredibly beautiful new complex called Flamingo Crossings Village which is just outside the theme parks and is run by American Campus but kind of owned by is like run by Disney as well. So I'm gonna pop a couple of pictures of Flamingo Crossings Village as I'm talking to you guys. I will also be doing a full room tour and um, complex tour once I've moved in. So that's only in like two weeks. So hopefully in the next month it will be out. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. But basically, um, there are three different types of rooms you can apply for on dorms before you arrive. It's about a month before you put in your preferences and then you'll get your find out for your lease about a week later, which you're going to get. At least that was the way it was in my case. So every apartment um, houses four people in it. Some are mixed gendered, some are um, single sex gender. So every apartment's got four people in it the first one which was my top preference is a 4-4 which means that each apartment there is four bedrooms and four bathrooms so you don't share anything apart from your living room and your common area 
um, you have your own private bedroom, your own private ensuite, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. They're the most expensive, but you've got a 4-2, which is a private bedroom, but you share a, there's two bathrooms. So you share a bathroom with one other person, but you share the same common area, etc. And then you have a 2-2, which means you share a literal room. So there's literally, I'll show you a picture now, there is literally a divider between your two beds and you share the same room and share the same bathroom. Here are the different price points on screen now. So you've got your 4-4, four, four, your 4-2 four, and your 2-2. Two, two. The prices for 2023 are different than 2024, so just bear that in mind. They will put up to date prices on DOMS just before you um, opt, because obviously it's how much of your wages you want to spend on your accommodation if given the choice. So you put your preferences in, so I put 4-4 four, four as number one, 4-2 as number two, and 2-2 two, two as least preference. And just a side note, always go in with the expectation that you will get a 2-2 two, two because that is what they have the most of. Um, and if you get anything other than that, then it's a Brucey bonus, as we say here. I don't know if that's just a Manchester thing. Brucey bonus? Is it an England thing? I don't know. I say it anyway. And yeah, I am very happy to say that I am going to be in a 4-2. Yay! So I am also going to be in Flamingo Crossing Village West, which is the newer complex. You've got West and East, and they're building um, some other ones as well. But the only two open at the minute is East Came First, which is where like Apprentice Hall and everything is. And then West is the newer complex. Apparently, it's a little bit more quieter over there. That doesn't bother me, but obviously, I'm sure when I'm working like 12 hour shifts over Christmas, that, that'll probably come in handy. So, so excited. I know which community I'm in, which I am happy to reveal that I'm going to be in Iago. And I actually know quite a few people now that are going to be also living in Iago. So, that's so exciting. People are I haven't met some of my friends on my program are also in, going to be in Iago, literally in the buildings next to me, um, which is so cool. But I don't have a clue who any of my roommates are. You can opt to link with one other roommate, um, but I decided to just go for it because I thought if everyone on my program, that I know there's about 10 of us, if all of us um, live separately, we already know, all know each other and then we'll have even more friends from their roommates and there's just even more people to meet and to know especially across different locations different apartments etc so yeah i am quite buzzing to, to be honest so the money comes straight out of your wages every week so i don't have to worry about it at all it comes straight out and yeah that's that because you get paid weekly at Disney, which I find, I've never had that before. I've always been paid monthly. I don't know if that's an American thing or just a Disney thing, but in the UK, I've always ever been paid monthly. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention as well is I got my itinerary through as well. So two weeks, ex well, mine was, and some of my friends as well, exactly two weeks before your moving date, you will get sent your itinerary from Disney housing. So that basically is your first week's kind of orientation. It'll tell you what time you've got to um, arrive at Flingo Crossings on your check-in day, where you've got to go i'm pretty sure everyone has to check in at east but you first have to go to your so i'm in west so i have to go to west um half an hour before my check-in time drop my luggage off and then get a shuttle over to back to east to actually do my onboarding and everything and then you'll get specific times for your traditions so i'm very excited to say my traditions is going to be on friday the 21st of july so i move it on the monday i don't have traditions till the friday and i've only got a couple of um, sessions to attend so we've already decided that me and my group are going to go to universal get our annual passes go to target walmart do the furniture shop because obviously we come from the uk we don't have a lot of luggage and storage space so we can't bring a car full of our lives. So make sure you follow along for all the fun over here and over on TikTok and Instagram. I, they're all always linked in my channel below. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.